Okay, have I completely grossed you out by now? <laughs> if not, stay with me. I'm going to do it before the show is over. The reason that I ask that question is because our topic this hour is bed bugs. We're calling it Have Bed Bugs Will Travel. What you might not realize during this holiday season is that it's a ripe season for bed bugs to travel from place to place. Not only are you traveling and maybe staying in hotels or in relatives' rooms, but your luggage is moving, you're taking gifts back and forth. You have no idea that you could be carrying these little critters along with you. So we're giving you some suggestions, sharing some personal stories with us. If you have a story of your own or questions or comments, email me at the address you see on the screen. Now we were talking with Robin Boyd, who literally lived a bed bug nightmare for about nine months, so much so that she's seeking legal recourse from a furniture store that she says gave her this infested mm -hmm. furniture. It, it took nine months. Jeff, that's not typical in terms of fighting a bed bug infestation. Absolutely. We know that bed bugs don't succumb to a lot of the pesticides we use today quite the way they used to, but sometimes follow-up treatments are necessary. We don't always get rid of every last bug on the first treatment. Now, you should see a significant reduction in bugs after the first treatment, and eight to nine months is definitely not an acceptable time frame. But sometimes it does take two to four weeks, or maybe even a little longer than that, depending on the size. I was going to say, so when they told her, wait two weeks, wait two weeks, this is common? That's pretty typical, actually, you know, because you you got these bugs hide so well and you can't get to every last bug and so two weeks two weeks that's fine but when you start to get over a month or over two months that's a that's a problem okay so yeah. Robin has has walked away literally mm -hmm. and, and I can't say that I blame her Camille you oh. and I are probably on the same page Absolutely. with this I mean can you imagine living no. in an environment where you've experienced this I mean you were one night with bed bugs in a hotel room one and night and, and, I, out. and I was out yeah I, I I don't know how you did it and it's changed your life hasn't uh, it yeah the one night it's the way you changed, look at things yes it's the changed you, a lot yeah. about you know, how I do you, things, you know, going places. Yeah. And so Jack, one night, night she's out. nine months. Yeah. I, I, no, can I can't see imagine. Where I can understand the psychological yeah. effect. But Absolutely. you walked away from your stuff, and, and Jeff is saying that maybe that's not necessary. Well, my kids were saying, Mom, <laughs> they've been told me to, to leave, to leave. And I was like, they're bugs. How, how can I walk away from, how can they beat me? I mean, this right. is crazy. Right. You know, I can't leave all my stuff. But like I said, you know, it was everything with me was done wrong. I mean, when they came and sprayed, instead of them pulling out the dressers, they didn't. They sprayed around it. So everything that was done that should have got rid of, they should have did the right way, probably would have got rid of my bed bugs, but they everything was done wrong. And you don't me. have, I mean, you you don't have the confidence that you could bring your clothing oh God. to where you are now, even with all of the techniques that, that Jeff's made available to us. Honey, I don't trust them. No, no. I don't. I don't yeah, trust I it. I don't trust it. I don't blame you. I don't. I know. I mean, it's just like, you know, I love everybody. You know, and I. I if I could help somebody, I could. But I'm telling you, just walking in here, I'm looking. It's like, you, you know, you, well, you're just we, so paranoid. I can tell you, before we did this show, um, we had a bed bug sniffing beagle in the yeah, studio. I seen him. And yeah. uh, he's given us two pulls up. Yeah, so good. <laughs> everything's, good. everything's good. If someone um, has an extreme case, as, as Robin has, uh, is there recourse other than filing a lawsuit? What, what have you found in your investigations? Wow. Right now, I have about 15 cases uh, going. The nothing, the Robin's the first one I've had to file suit on. I have settled some of the cases with the insurance companies. Uh, the uh, furniture companies, uh, hotels, they have the highest duty. They're selling a product or, they're, or you're staying in a hotel and the, the innkeeper has the highest duty to uh, make the place safe and, and uh, not have you uh, have a dangerous condition or at least a worrisome condition in the um, uh, where you're staying. Outside of the hotels and, and travel yeah. destinations like airlines right. or planes or that kind of thing, are these uh, furniture stores or particularly yeah. used furniture yeah. store a very prevalent place to find bed bugs? Uh, I, I believe they are. They're, they're uh, sitting in their warehouse because uh, they may be getting the furniture from someone who may have had them, uh, the bed bugs, and, and, they, and they have a duty to inspect to make sure that the product that they're selling is safe. It's almost like a strict liability uh, that they're under this highest duty and that despite their best efforts, if they're selling a product to a consumer, a uh, consumer can't be the one who's an innocent victim and not right. be compensated. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what advice would you have for people as we head into the holiday season? They're going to be purchasing gifts. Yep. We've seen the shutdown of, of major stores mm -hmm. in major metropolitan areas like um, 
New York. What, what do you say to people who are going to be doing a lot of shopping, a lot of traveling, um, perhaps buying new furniture for the holiday season? What should we do? Yeah, what I don't want to see us do is create a lot of hysteria. You know, everybody's going to watch this and be like, oh my God, I'm not going to shop anymore. I'm not going to do anything anymore. Well, I'm not leaving my house. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell you that. And no one's coming over. I'm just going to sit in my house. <laughs> right. Yep. You want to be familiar with the bugs and the signs and symptoms, which we talked about earlier. You also want to check with these companies. You know, companies can institute policy and procedure where used furniture companies can get furniture back and then heat it up up and then it goes back out free of bugs and so you want to check for that policy and procedure okay so we now need to be an, an educated consumer right. perhaps even more so before we would find a hotel that came as a high recommendation from a friend it's a five-star four-star mm -hmm. hotel or something like that now we're we're as consumers looking for something different right. mm -hmm. you could even go on bedbugregistry.com and they have a list of hotels that um, had infestations and apartments Oh, we're going to see a major change yeah. in how people choose their destinations. Oh, yeah. Someone who's a really smart marketing person can take advantage of this and, and start to advertise we're bed bug free. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> I bet we would all stay there, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, we certainly wish you the best of luck Thank as you. you move forward. I hope that uh, whatever... Um, outcome that you're looking for that it'll it'll thank be you. made available to you Barry thank you very much for being with Th us thank you for having us and sharing uh, Robin's story with us uh, Camille Fortino uh, good luck in uh, future hotel rooms thank you. <laughs> thanks thank to you, you now when I'm going on my upcoming vacation I'm gonna be very uncomfortable <laughs> yeah. and you yes you I'm, I'm bed I'm, bug I'm, freak you <laughs> <laughs> you're right <laughs> thank you so much yeah, <laughs> thank you all for watching if you have questions email me happy holidays <laughs> mm -hmm.